Good afternoon guys, this is James from Advanced In Car Technologies. I am sat in an Audi A3, it's a 2017 plate. Uh, very, very, very new, still got plastic packaging on. Uh, we have just fitted the uh, new Highline camera. Um, now, we've done quite a few of these Audi A3 8V models, um, but this is um, had a slight facelift. So it's an MQB platform. Um, and also the MIB2 sat nav radio hard drive, all the usual bits and pieces you'd expect, but they've just facelifted for what we think is probably just the rear view camera. It's starting to appear to be very much like the um, Q7 and some of the others that are rolling out now. Uh, and these are the Highline cameras that are very simple. It's basically the uh, module that does everything. Uh, and that is the MIB radio that's in the glove box that does everything. It's all on board. So I'm just going to start the engine up. So this is a 17 plate Audi A3. Um, it only has rear park assist. It doesn't have front and rear. Um, so there's no button down on the dash here. Uh, and more importantly is Audi. I don't know why, but they're not uh, uh, activating the um, optical display, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. You can do it on the TTs. You can go in and change the coding and activate it. Um, but on this car, because of the module, won't let you do it. So I'm just going to put it into reverse. Um, straight into the parking image there. Handbrake is off. Um, you can see, uh, if, you've, if you've seen the Q7 new one, you've got a big screen and it's all filled up with the um, rear camera image. Um, it does look really crisp on this one, I've got to admit. But I think Audi should have made this. This is of no use to you whatsoever unless you've got front and rear parking. Um, and they should have made that full widescreen, seeing as everything in our lives in our lives are widescreen these days. So you've still got the moving um, guidelines as you would with a Highline camera, and you've still got also the clarity. The, you've got a bit of depth and colour, and the picture resolution is much better than normal. But up here, you've got a bit of dead space. Uh, yes, it shows that we've got a rear view camera. Well, we can see that anyway. Uh, and if I click the jog wheel to the right, gives you rear volume and entertainment fader for the park assist uh, which you can go in and change uh, but what would be nicer is if you had the overlay for the parking sensors or a slightly bigger screen for the uh, parking uh, for the rear view camera um, nice and simple um, it, it's a Highline camera 2017 A3 uh, and all we've done is fit this in but we've just noticed that slight facelift for the overall camera uh, you've been watching advanced in car technologies and the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk.